Amazing part. I'm so afraid from the upper part. It's actually not easy for me, yes. and I'm sure that it's not easy for you as well. Yes. Uh, I do have something private in there too. Uh, that, and that was a question that I wanted to ask you. I know that a lot of uh, you're not so. Are you practicing or secular uh, Armenian? Uh, no, practicing. Practicing, but uh, but you are you 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 was born here. Yes. Fourth and generation. and yeah, fourth generation. It means that someone from your family, my grand grandma, yeah, ran away or ran escaped away. from the yes. Holocaust, yes. from the genocide. Yes, from the Armenian genocide that happened all over Turkey back then. Uh, again, there are some specific places that it happened, and then places it did not happen. We're going to talk about everything. All right. Hello again. So. The entire second floor is dedicated to remember of the Armenian genocide and the horrific, horrific thing we had to go through about less than 100, 150 years ago. Um, here we can see a lot of different pictures, but one of the things I like to show is the Armenian ceramics that someone sacrificed one and a half years in his life to do this. It has all the Armenian important narratives in it. 301 is accepted Christianity. 405, Mesrop Mashtots. Vartan Mamigonian. Vartan, yes, I've been so, in the... Vartan Mamigonian yeah. fought against the Persians. True. And he lost the battle. Still. The Roman, the Persian Empire never were able to recover. Yes. And that's the fall. Although he lost exactly. in the way he won. So Mount Ararat. All right. All right. And Holy I Trinity. saw, yeah, I saw Mount Ararat, uh, but from the Armenian side. Yeah. So here you have, again, Christians, Heres, Psime, Echmiadzin, Mashtots. All the Armenian important places of today. Even in mother. Exactly. So the Bilal. mother here has a three kind of a three role. Okay. This one is defending Armenia. This yeah. one is the mother of prosperity and the mother that defends. This is the family she's defending against the snake. You can see the sword. This is the snake. Zorvar Antranik is the guy that started the Fedain. Fedain are in charge of, well, they're not in charge. They rebelled against the Turkish, the Ottomans that okay. are coming to kill Armenians. And their place was at Van, one of the biggest resistance that hold until the Russian Empire came. So, even here we can see the horrific Armenian genocide and what yeah. happened in the Armenian genocide. This is places that got massacred. You can see how big the circle is, is how big the horrific the massacre. Thing, exactly. Yeah. And, and your family came from? We're going to see it on ah, the bigger map. Okay. So, there's one thing, we exist, we shall remain, and we shall increase. Yeah, and this, uh, this is a very important exactly. sentence. And I need to make this a tattoo yeah. on my body. Oh. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I know where you can do that. Yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> I'm promoting him to, but I'm afraid of needles. <laughs> I've never been That's how I, I did half my arm is full of tattoos. Oh, really? I'm afraid of needles. I'm so afraid of needles. So that's why I made the tattoo. <laughs> So something from the last happened. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, no, this is 94. Yeah. Uh, the first killing of Christians started all over Turkey. Uh, Abdul Hamid II. He was in charge of deportation, killing, murdering um, women and children that were Christians, even before Armenians. So one of the things they did in 1894 was uh, killing Christians all over Turkey. They killed almost 200,000 people. Um, again, and that's before the well-known genocide. There is a reason we mark 1915, and we're going to talk about it, but it even happened before 1909. First murders, first banishments start happening all over Turkey. Uh, back at this time, 1909, we have uh, 90 days of uh, Musadag, Kesar. Uh, one of the things that happened there, the French general that was Armenian, he did a detour with his navy, he went to Kesar, saved Armenian, and went back to France. Today you have one of the biggest communities in France. Which are, uh, and the most famous singer. He died. He died, he died when I was in Armenia. Exactly. He did his wish. Yes, his yes, wish. yes. Um, the reason we say 1915 is the day that everything started is the Armenian elites were executed slash banished. Most of them got executed. We have different people from different places. This is the place I gave for uh, Father Komidas. Uh, Father Komidas is in charge of the Armenian folk music you hear today. I heard about it. When the Kurds got to him, 
they burned all of his copies, 60,000 copies in front of his eyes. He went mental. He did not talk. It, they didn't kill him, but he... he, he yes. Because he wasn't talking. Yes. That's why they didn't kill him. He yeah. died later on in France, but because of him, he was able to, to preserve a couple of hundreds of songs, and most of the Armenian songs you hear here that are based on him. And I want, yeah, I want you to look at the faces of, uh, let's say, innocent people. Um, my family. <sighs> Zakarian. Zak Z wait. Zakarian, I know the Zakarian in Jaffa. Your family? Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, my Ooh. family is very, very big. My family has, do have lands in Christ Church of today, which belong to Zakarian family. Okay. Zakarian family has a book in the home. Um, holy, sorry, the Holy Tomb of Jesus, yeah. the Holy Sepulchre, they have a book there of uh, when you were there. So they have one of the rights there 500 years ago. Then you can't, you can't follow Zakaria. Um, if you don't know Zakaria, it's okay, but it's a very famous family, at least for me. Uh, so we have, we're going to talk here about the Kurds and Turkish, the SO units, special organization units that did most of the charge of the deportation, mass killing. Uh, convoys of Armenians. One of the things the Turkish told to the Kurdish is show me that you killed Armenians. So they start decapitating heads, ears and noses just to get their money back. Um, they start the death marches, which is, was in the desert. It's not like in the Holocaust, it, in the winter. There you yeah. can even hide a bit of water. Yeah. So in the desert, one day, two days. No, you cannot. I mean, two days. I mean, uh, two, two hours. It's already exactly. difficult so to be in the desert. You can see the uh, documentation of the Armenians, 306 convoys, million forty people. Yeah. Very, very sad. Uh, again, this, this is one of the first movements you can see. It's not random, like they claim it is. This is well-planned, well-organized mission to destroy and eradicate Christians slash Armenians all over Turkey. Um, here we have a table of victims dying in natural causes. Yeah. Okay? 400,000 people. Just like that. Just like that. This is Turkey back then. You can see different places that Armenians were deported, places that eradicated completely, places that got massacred, and concentration camps that later on be killed in. Um, personally, my family came from Adana, from Lapash, which is Marash area, and Antab. They were escaped. My great grandma came here when she was three years old. She actually is a, as a, a genocide survivor. Yes. All right. Uh, she was a genocide survivor. And, and I'm so happy that she came when she was three years old because she doesn't remember a lot. We all are. We yeah. All are. And here, another uh, slaughterhouses they had. You can see Armenian bodies trying to burn <sighs> them. Uh, Again, trying to hide all of the proofs they did. The result of the Armenian genocide is 816 orphanages coming to Israel. They actually lived here in that building. The boys. The, boys. the girls were at the Orthodox Greek monastery, Be'emeka Masriva. Ah, cross. So, yeah. So, when Which you usually do you come here, press home, go to Z, one, two, three. Four or five orphanage came from the Zakarian family. Five. Okay. So their parents were gone early on, and they had to continue their life. Here we have a picture of the men and the girls that came here. Different orphanages that accepted Armenians later on. They came either to Israel, either back to Lebanon, Syria, if I remember everywhere, correctly. Everywhere. Uh, today you have communities in Syria because of the uh, actions that happened, a lot of them left to Armenia. Uh, the main step of the Armenian Patriarch in Jerusalem is to rehabilitate, rehabilitate the Armenian orphanage to forget and continue yes. what they did. So they gave them different different tools. So you have the monastery here. That's a cross monastery that I know. That the girls were in. Okay. And the boys were at the monastery. Where well, at, at that building. Exactly. Which is, I think it used to be a seminar. It was a... It was built in 1850. Yeah. It was the first well, a place for the pilgrimage, then a seminar, okay. then an the orphanage, a seminar, a museum, and a museum. Okay, now you're true. And I was at least at the <laughs> two parts of the museums. Exactly. <laughs> so here you can see how the Armenian Patriarch gave. Uh, that's at the cross, a church. Uh, yes, in yeah. different, different places. Yeah. St. James 
monastery helping the orphanages, giving them food, places to sleep, education. This is, this is here. This is here. This is here. Yeah, that one. All right. You, you can go. see how it looked 100 years ago. Yeah. So again, you had the Armenian properties. And one of the things the Armenian community here, they had a, a band. And that band went to Ethiopia and played for the P Crown Prince Rastafari. Uh -oh. Today, you have the Armenian Ethiopian community until this day in Ethiopia. And this is the reason why. That's a nice story. Here, you can see more of the Armenian properties all over Jerusalem. This is, I think you know where this yes. is. Yes. I, I, I know that there is a lot of property, of uh, Armenian yes. property in, uh, in, in, in Jerusalem, yeah. Jaffa yeah. Street, yeah. Jaffa Road. Yes. This is the main home of the Armenian monastery. It looked, look how many people. Today, rarely. Well, how many Armenians are? Uh, we say 2,000, there's less. That, uh, less than 2,000, and all over the world? More than 10 million. Yeah, just like the Jews, it's more and less. Million. Yeah. Uh, the parking 100 years ago. Yeah, uh, was that's the just outside the, uh, outside the, uh, yeah. uh, the monastery. Ah, uh, uh, that's, that's the museum. Exactly. I came from here, entered through somewhere, exactly. you know, there, exactly. and that's the parking place. You can see the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. So here we have the St. James Cathedral, even the place of the Potterer, different Potterers we have. Uh, one of the things, April 24, when we, the day there, we remember the Armenian Genocide, 1980, it was the first time they did it in Israel. The parade, and I, have, I was part of it 10 years ago, Almost in April 15, I think. Yeah. So here we have more people that did it as much as they can for the Armenians, and it shows a picture of the the Armenian in Armenia and all over the world, all not only world. Israel. Yeah. So, but I have to go back to Israel. How do you know if someone is powerful in Israel? All the important people come to meet the locals, which were who Armenians. We're here for such a long time. We know the shortcuts. We know yeah. the governments. We know everything. Teddy Kolek. Yeah. The, uh, Beres, mayor. Yasser Arafat. Yeah, even Arafat. Pope. Yeah. You have so many important people. King Faisal and King. Of wow. That's uh, when that place were part of Jordan. Exactly. Herbert Samuel. Ah, mm, yeah. Very, very important people. Even the Armenian Catholics came here. The Armenian Catholics, has, he is the Armenian Pope that is in Yerevan. Uh, so here you have more pictures that show you the importance of Armenian and the role of together. We're here, we can live together, we're going to stay here, everybody's going to be here. You, you have to live together. Sadly, in Israel, everything is going up and down. And down. Tell me about it. So here we have more pictures of Teddy Kolek, even the chef. That's a mayor or an um, ex ex He's mayor. He's legendary of the, yeah. yeah, he legendary world. Yeah, of, 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 of Jerusalem. Hebron. What can I tell you? Beautiful heritage, yeah. Thank you very much. We're not done yet. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, but I'm afraid to... And, ah, no. To the print? Yes, of course. No, the movie was gonna... Yeah, yeah, I, I, I cannot... Don't hit you. Yeah, uh, it's such a, a very important v video about what's happened to the Armenians uh, genocide. I watch it for 20 minutes. I cannot watch it anymore. Uh, as you said, YouTube. Yeah, rubbish. Armenian is the name of the movie. All right, it's about rubbish. Uh, yeah, All right. Rub okay. So my favorite. Yeah, know? this so is like uh, I was standing here for 10 minutes. <laughs> this look at the Armenian Church, Mount Mount Zion. It's in the wall of the city. In Jerusalem. Well, let's start with that. Who were the first people who printed here in Jerusalem? The Armenians. Yeah, I wanted them to be sure. Exactly, and this was from the 1900s, 1822. Okay, it was used by this machine. We have books that were printed from this machine here. We can see today. We can see even the date 1867, what? 1833. Different. This is a gospel that they used while praying. This is a um, um, this is a uh, poems. Pounds, yeah. Yeah, poems they yeah. use on daily. You can see the different tools they use on daily basis. Even the ink you have here. Yeah, so the letters. How Armenians were able to keep preserving their history and keep printing about their history and give, even helping other communities in the whole city just to make posters and everything. And this is another role that only locals know. Uh, again, the appreciation is getting less and less. And eventually, let's see what's going to happen.
Yeah, I, I must say that it's not easy for the Armenian, and I'm saying it as an Israeli guy, uh, to live here as a minority. Uh, there are some fundamentalist Jews that makes their life a little bit difficult. Uh, that's why every year I'm in the Pentecost room uh, together with Armenians, just to take care that everything will be okay. Then, oh, I this didn't even where, think about it. So this is where the priests and the monks used to wash their hands and feet. It goes all the way down. Ah, lovely. All right, tell me a little bit more about you that people will know so, more about you as uh, Armenian, Israeli, um, whatever he wants to say. Okay, you don't need... So my name is Eric, Eric Artujan. I'm a fourth generation survivor. I'm living in the whole city for now. I'm a licensed tour guide. Now the history of myself is I went to fully Israeli schools. I went to Dula Shoni, which is an Arab Israeli school. Tried to work, Arabs in Israel, it happens. They do sometimes go together but again racism goes up and up on yes. both sides yeah. you cannot take one side both of the sides have the same blame of the hatred um, after that i went to fully israeli school i went to zalman Aran, gymnasia uh, well-known schools yeah, in jerusalem even Salisbury. and after that i served in the military for a short time uh, in the military i got the full package of how israel is doing. <laughs> not easy uh, not easy at all um, it wasn't easy for me too yeah so <laughs> You do know that your place is kind of not here. Uh, everybody's telling you that you don't belong here, but eventually we've been here long enough. To You've be here. been here before my family been here, before the Palestinian families were here. Uh, you were here uh, from the fourth century. I mean, you are the Armenians. Then uh, let's face it, uh, this is your country, not less than my country. And we'll do whatever we can to preserve it. Yes, it and, and you're doing a great job. This museum is amazing, and you are more than that. Thank you very much. Then, um, if you want us to know more about him, I will leave at the description of beneath the video all the details about you. Then you can actually ask him questions, and we can be. Huh? Huh? Uh, you will be, uh, I want them to be your tour guide, not on here, I'm, I'm sure that you thank know you more much. than that. Then thank you for being with us. I thank think you. that was one of my most important videos ever. Thank then uh, thank you very much. See you in my next video.